to winterize your RV. And it's supposed to only freeze for tonight, but we are headed to West Virginia, I think, after this. So this is a good practice. Well, I didn't wake up until noon. Taylor didn't wake up. What time did you wake up? <laughs> exactly. I went to the coffee shop again, got the vlog done, got some work done, and we just heard it's supposed to get down to freezing tonight. Apparently, Chattanooga has a freezing. Freeze warning. Freeze warning. So, don't really know what we're going to do about that. Because this little heater, heater is trying to do its best, but it's not doing its best. Forgot to give y'all an update about the ants. <gasps> I see one. They're not as nearly as bad, but there's still some moving in there. But I'm pretty sure they are slowly dying. Okay, so it is supposed to freeze tonight and living in an RV in really cold weather. I uh, actually had a pipe in the back of the toilet bust on me because it froze. So uh, I'm trying to avoid that happening again. Um, so we've been looking at a lot of videos on how to winterize your RV. And it's supposed to only freeze for tonight, but we are headed to West Virginia, I think, after this. So this is a good practice and will kind of get us a head start for the next day. So under the RV, you have your holding tanks so you can see that pipe runs to this holding tank and also that holding tank those are exposed to the elements um, so most likely if it gets cold enough those will freeze uh, the best thing you can do for that you can actually buy it's a heating pad and you just stick it up on the bottom of that and it uh, it'll turn on automatically if it gets below a certain degrees. We don't have the time to order one of those, so we're just gonna put antifreeze in our holding tanks so they don't freeze. Um, so I gotta run to the store to buy that. Um, so that will take care of our holding tanks. Another thing you wanna watch for is your fresh water because this is all exposed. Um, and that's will be the, one of the first things that freezes because um, it's not very thick and uh, so yeah we got to take care of that in an RV you can direct or you can hook directly into the fresh water and that will feed your RV with um, water or you can fill up your fresh water tank and that's the tank that holds fresh water and uses an electric pump to feed uh, water to your whole RV um, I thought that fresh water tank was actually inside the RV, but I've come to realize that it's actually under the RV, but luckily that part of the RV is somewhat insulated. Um, if it's not insulated, at least it has uh, some sort of protective barrier from the cold winds. I filled, I filled the fresh water tank up and we'll have that but I'm gonna run to Home Depot and actually buy uh, heat tape and insulation for the fresh water. I think that's more than 10 feet. Kelsey said that was 10 feet. I think that's more than 10 feet. So I'll probably have to buy two of those, some insulation, so it keeps that from freezing. So yeah, cold weather, I'm freaking freezing. It's only 44 degrees right now and I'm so cold. So this is how I found out that uh, the fresh water tank was not inside the RV, but under the RV. So I thought it was under there, but when I open this, you can see the fresh water 
leading to outside is there and it goes and it goes actually under the RV. There's a little uh, water pump. So yeah, we I gotta make sure that water doesn't freeze. So, Home Depot. All right, so we got everything we needed. We need we needed this. If you can see that, it's essentially a coil, and you plug it in, and it uh. It heats up, um, I think it's 45 degrees. It starts heating up, or it turns on at 45 degrees and stays on until it reaches above that temperature. And then I'm gonna wrap the hose in this. Uh, just some foam insulation, use some duct tape around the seams, and wrap the hose in aluminum foil because it's a good conductor and rubber is not, so yeah. Uh, pretty good fix. I think everything's gonna cost us around forty, fifty dollars. Um, but it's a lot cheaper than a water, a heated water hose. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna dress up. And guess what our Halloween costume is? Mary Poppins and his chimney sweeper, or her chimney sweeper. <laughs> Surprise! Surprise! Let's get a good look at you. Oh, most important part. There you go. Hey, snazzy chimney sweeper. Yeah, I don't have a chimney or a sweeper. <laughs> we are gonna go out and we're gonna see other people dressed up. And then we might meet up with some other friends and we're just gonna see what happens. Yeah. Dottie doesn't wanna go in her kennel. <laughs> Dottie had to go in her kennel now. I'm sorry. So we went out and we saw, well we didn't really see any. We didn't see anybody, but it was we had kind a good fun. We had a good fun? We had a good fun. <laughs> we saw some other costumes, but it was kind of disappointing, but we had a lot of fun. And we will see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow.